Hello Gundam fans, this is Prime92, and today I'll be looking at the 1 to 144 Meteor Hopper from the Gundam Milfetter series. And this is designed for the Wing Gundam Finiche, although you could use it for any other mobile suit really. Anyone that has a uh, pay connector in the crotch. Now, the actual Meteor Hopper is basically a unicycle. And the one part you would really wish to move, the tire, doesn't move. Uh, it's one solid, well, it's two solid pieces, they connect together. So it's a little depressing, would have been nice if it would move, but really, are you going to roll this around? Eh, probably not. It does have this extra connector, you plug into the wheel to keep it steady. Uh, got a little, like, a bar here, handlebar thing. So it does stay okay, even without this. But it is a little wobbly, even if it does fall over, the uh, fins on the side pretty much keep it. On an angle. I kind of like it more like that. Uh, it does have a little bit of articulation. You have movable handles and the uh, thrusters on the side. The fins can move. Uh, they're on a double hinge, which this one will rotate at the base, and then a ball joint. And the actual connector to the mobile suit is on a hinge and also extends. So if you have a bigger mobile suit, that would probably help. Now to actually mount this, with the uh, wing Gundam, it's easier to take the connector for the crotch and pl uh, plug it in first. Just to uh, save yourself some trouble. And then just slide that back in there. And then you just have to get the hands holding the handles. And it's a good thing that the head can actually go up so high because you, you can have looking uh, forward. And then just have the knees resting on those panels there. And that's it. That is the wing gun on the Meteor Hopper. And see, when it does have the mobile suit, it is a little heavy. Even though I don't think those wings will actually support it with the mobile suit on it. So this will definitely uh, come in handy. There. Much better. Now, that would be it. Uh, first off, before I forget, you can mount the Buster Rifle on the, underneath the uh, nose cone. Comes a little connector. And it just plugs into a hole right there. And then you just have to have the uh, main handle at an angle, and then just light it up. Oops. There. I don't think it's the most secure connection because it has to go at an angle and it just you kind of rest it so it looks like it's flush with the uh, the Buster rifle. But it's all right. Now there are a few other things you can do with this. Uh, first off. You might notice that the nose cone looks a lot like the Wing Gundam shield. Well, it actually pays in the exact same way on here. Now, there is no handle for the shield, but if you have the Wing Gundam Veniche, it comes with the extra uh, main part of the shield and the handle. So you can just connect that on. And now you have a functioning shield. And it is rather different from the original Wing Gundam. Rather different. It's, it's basically completely different. So, yeah. This actually, I think it looks more like the uh, EW. I could be wrong, but I think it looks more like the EW uh, shield. Which is kind of neat. And then you can just give it to the Wing Gundam Fini Chang. And... So now it has a physical shield, which looks completely out of place with the color scheme. But that can be fixed. And there's a little bit more. You see, that connector I've been showing to stabilize the hopper has a couple of different connectors on it. And these two, if you unplug... Oopsie. If you rip them apart... 
unplug the back, you can connect this. And see if I do it the right way. Onto his back. Now, what does that mean? Well, you can take the actual hopper pieces themselves and connect them onto his back. Now, you can actually do it a couple different ways because there are several connector points, sockets, uh, pegs that you can actually fit onto here. So you can actually use the actual bars themselves and give him more of an extending backpack. So you can have it like that. And then give him the shield. Which is a little loose in the hand. It's a little heavier, I think, than the normal shield. It's a little bulkier. Not too much. And then give him the Buster Rifle. And you have a, a little bit different looking wing Gundam here. And like I said, you get the added uh, joints, and you can have them out, lower down. So that's kind of neat. So, yeah, that's the uh, decapitated meteor hopper. I think it's actually really cool. It's an interesting idea, for sure, to have a, uh, a Gundam on motorcycles, even though it's a unicycle. It looks pretty neat. I do wish the wheel could move, but what are you going to do? And I like the ability to actually put the parts onto the wing Gundam, or really... Yeah, well, other mobile suits would probably take it as well. So it is definitely, I think, worth the purchase, just to play around with. So that's about it, and I'll see you at the next review.